is buying four 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries cheaper than buying one 48 volt 100 amp hour battery. Both hold the same energy. In this video, I'm going to show you the hidden costs few people talk about. If you're new here, I'm Nick, author of Off Grid Solar Power Simplified. Ready? Let's get started. If we buy four 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries, that gives us a total of 48 volts at 100 amp hours. That's 5120 watt hours. So let's see how much that will cost. If we buy them from WattCycle, it will cost us $664. And if we buy from Dynas, it will cost us $600. And then we have the Battleborn for $798. Oh, that's just for one battery. Never mind. Now, are there cheaper batteries? Sure, but I've opened these, I've looked at the build quality and I stand behind them and the customer support. So I'm not going to recommend untested batteries. But we're not done yet. You need a balancer. Each 12 volt battery has its own BMS. The BMS balances the cells inside that one battery. But battery 1 is not talking to battery 2, 3 or 4. Over time, one battery will have a high voltage and one will have a low voltage. That's how you lose capacity and that's not what we want. If one battery goes into high voltage disconnect, your entire battery is dead. That's not a maybe, that's guaranteed over time. A balancer from lead time that works with 4 batteries will cost you $70. Next, interconnecting cables. You have to wire 4 batteries in series. If each battery has a 100 amp BMS, then the whole 48 volt string is limited to 100 amps continuous, or 5000 watts. That should be more than enough. In my last video, I showed how to size your cable and fuse because that depends on your inverter. But to keep this video short, let's use 4 gauge or 25 mm square. I will link my recommended cables in the description. These cables with lux will cost you $7 each. And we need 3 of them, so that's $21. And the MRBF fuse will cost you an additional $45. So in total, we have $736. And it does not include your time connecting all of this. This is the classic 5 kWh server rack battery. For the voucher, you'll pay $893, but it doesn't have communication. The watt cycle will cost you $900 with communication. I went to their office in China and saw the inside of this battery and I was impressed by the build quality. Then we have the lead time for $999. This one has communication as well. So yes, the price is higher than doing 4 separate 12 volt batteries. But what are you getting for that extra money? The BMS balances all the cells, so you don't need an external balancer. You don't need cables to connect them in series. It already has a breaker. It has communication, except the Vautrer. So the rack battery will cost you $164 more, but it takes less work than building a 48 volt bank out of 4 12 volt batteries. There's a third option, that's actually my favorite. In my opinion, this is the sweet spot. It's just a golf cart 48 volt 100 amp hour battery. It doesn't have communication, so it's not trying to talk to your inverter. It just has positive and negative battery posts. A watt cycle 48 volt 100 amp hour will cost you $700 and it has Bluetooth. The Redodo is $800 and has Bluetooth as well. And then we have one with communication and a steel case from lead time for $900, including a charger. 
remember the price of four batteries in series was $736. This is basically the same price because you have to add a fuse to it. However, you don't need to buy a balancer and cables to connect them together. So this is much easier. Companies will tell you, we have communication. We report state of charge to the inverter. And that's nice for certain systems. But let's be honest, for most backup and off-grid systems, you don't need the battery to communicate with the inverter. In my system, I don't run communication cables. I just tell the inverter it's a 100 amp hour battery and it runs fine. So here's the final comparison chart. Four 12 volt batteries is $736. One server rack is $900 and the golf cart battery is $745. I have linked all my recommended batteries in the description. If you're already using 12 volts and you've already bought several 12 volt batteries, I get it. In that situation, it can make sense to just add more batteries in series to create 48 volts. However, they need to be of the same capacity. If you're building a new 48 volt system today, I would not start with four separate 12 volt batteries in series. I would start with a proper 48 volt battery. I'm curious, let me know in the comments what battery voltage you are using. If this video was helpful, please give it a like. Consider subscribing for more videos like this. And you might like this video next. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.